I'm natively from India. I came to Singapore in 99 to do my Master of Science by Research in Computer Science at uh, National University of Singapore. Uh, subsequently, I also completed my mm, PhD in Computer Engineering from the same university. For the last 12 years, I've been working at a leading research institute as a scientist. Uh, currently, I'm heading a lab that focuses on embedded and mobile security. I got my first Red Hat certification in the year 2004. We were building a Beowulf cluster for research purposes and we decided to use uh, Red Hat technologies for that. Uh, subsequently, in the year 2009, I got recertified. I have done three trainings with Red Hat so far. Uh, first one is uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux or well in short. Uh, in addition to this, I have also attended Red Hat Enterprise uh, System Monitoring and Performance Tuning course as well. Red Hat training has instilled the right knowledge and best practices uh, for performing the task linked to system administration. Uh, I can confidently say that uh, without this training, I would have spent countless number of hours uh, scouring the internet for um, uh, potential solutions, but more importantly, relying on non-authoritative sources. Uh, Red Hat training has given me the confidence to solve known problems quickly and easily and to approach unknown problems in a systematic and guided manner. Being Red Hat certified means the person is endorsed by the same entity that has built the product. This is certainly better compared to being certified by a third party. Employers need not spend time trying to evaluate the individuals through other means. For employers and customers, this simply means confidence. I have several pet projects at any one point in time. In fact, this is something what Red Hat training emphasizes as well, that is lifelong learning. Over the next couple of months, I will be exploring Google Cloud Platform. We'll be deploying uh, high traffic websites across Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud, and Red Hat OpenShift Online, and do some performance testing. For the next couple of years, I plan to continue on my current track of doing product-oriented research and development and to be an architect for large-scale systems.